Well, I think the thing that's missing is someone looking out for their dignity. Mm -hmm. um, because the thing that happens is, um, you know, in the camps, people tend to focus on all of the tangible needs. So, for example, they focus on lack of food and shelter and all of that stuff. They don't give them much education or anything to do, and they're not allowed to work. So, um, you know, what ends up happening is that people go into depressions and the waiting becomes this terrible burden. Mm -hmm. And waiting is such a bigger burden really than anything, especially when you don't know that it will end. It's this abjection. Um, so what I saw most was, you know, people just desperate to find out what their fate will be. Um, I think, um, you know, there was one charity that I found call, called Refugee Support that actually does this wonderful work of giving aid with dignity by putting grocery stores w and, you know, giving out the donated food that way with points. People can shop, again, with dignity. I think dignity and shame are two of the biggest themes that well, you know, I, I, I I'm really about. interested about it because you write that accepting charity is an ugly business for yeah. the spirit. Mm -hmm. And the person who founded or co-founded Refugee Support, Paul Hutching, said to you, wouldn't it be nice if we could give people food Food and clothing without taking away their dignity. Yeah. I mean, just expand on that a little bit. You have a little, mm -hmm. but but I mean, even I mean, even the kind of I don't know comforts that they might find in a container or in a yeah. tent that they go to, the kind of furniture. Some what is it that that you think needs to happen? Well, I I mean. Um... So I, th I think the biggest thing is really education. I think what Paul is doing is wonderful mm -hmm. because um, I was in a camp in which they threw piles of clothes in the parking lot and we were supposed to sift through them. And as, you know, my mother was a doctor in Iran and I was an educated kid. I mean, I, I, we had some pride. We, to, to have the clothes just out there like that, it felt like a falling down in the world. Um, and even, I, even though these were the helpers, but so I think what Paul is doing is really important. But the problem with the camps is that these people wait for so, so long, and the children don't have a place to go to school. Um, and the problem with that is that they actually don't know when the waiting will end, So and there's turnover. So it's really hard to set up a school. And I know there are charities that are trying to address this, but I think it's one of the most important things. If we're going to make people wait, if we're going to exert that kind of power over them, um, we need to give them some basic human you know, dignity, the ability to work towards something, a purpose in life. Um, passport photo.